Hey guys, welcome back. It's Titus with Mid Valley Mercenaries, and I'm out here today at the lake to give the new Gator Tail a spin. We got the Extreme Series with the 40 horse. It's a 1754. We're really excited to show this to you. We've driven it a couple times and uh, really enjoyed ourselves, but today we're gonna try to get some really good footage for you guys. Before we get started, I just wanna say a big thank you to the Gator Tail team. Appreciate them for helping us out buy this boat. We wanna say thank you to Kyle Broussard, Jared Serenay, and also Bubba. Me and Thomas made the gauntlet, if you watch us on Instagram or Facebook, all the way from California to Louisiana, and it was gnarly. Went through multiple states, obviously, if you look at the map and see what we went through, and uh, drove day and night, didn't go on much sleep, 30-hour uh, drive we got there went through some pretty bad weather uh, some rain on the way in But we had a blast and made good memories. I don't think we want to do it again though showed up at the Gator Tail factory and Met those guys there. It was really a quick deal. We really didn't get to spend much time there at the factory But uh, down there in Louisiana picked up our boat hooked up and hit the road again and came back to California So without further ado Thomas is gonna do the walkthrough for you and then we're gonna get out on the water What's up guys? This is Thomas with Mid Valley Mercenaries and like Titus said, we are so excited that we got a duck boat this year. We've talked about it for several years, you know, us and our friends that we run with. And we finally made the plunge and got this beast of a boat. We've already took it out several times. We're chomping at the bit to get hunting out of it. So we're going to give you guys a walkthrough today of the boat. Like Titus mentioned already, this is a Gator Tail Extreme Series. It's a 1754 so 17 feet long 54 inches wide and i'm just going to start at the front of the boat and kind of take our time a little bit walk through everything they got on the boat and some options that we picked let's get started so first off guys we decided to do the natural gear camo paint on our boat um, that's optional but we just like the the breakup of it so we decided to get that as an add-on second of all guys we put the camo hydro turf on the floor of the boat Helps out a lot with noise, and it looks really cool too, so we decided to put that on. We got two LED rigid lights up front. We've already turned these things on at night, and they just, they're insane. It's like daylight, so. They're protected by this nice little bolt-on cover here. The front deck here is four feet. Comes standard with a little storage box in the middle. Let me cut this open. And although it's not completely dry storage, it is a good spot to put things you don't want to be stepping on and keep it out of the way. Also standard, they come with this plate welded for a seat if you want to do some fishing out of it. We haven't got any of that. We haven't really had any fishing plans for the boat yet. It's just nice to have if later on we want to add a seat. We have a trolling motor bracket here. It's not drilled out for electrical yet, but at some point we're going to uh, put that on there. We added the, uh, the bow rails in the front. This is not standard, but it's a pretty reasonable price to add on, and it gives you something to tie the front of your boat off to, something to grab while you're walking around the boat, and it's, it's really nice, so we added this on. All right, guys, so with this boat, you get a 13-gallon tank. It's all rigged up already and uh, tucked under the front here. And they got your hose running underneath the floor. It's a pretty good-sized tank. We've been running this thing for, I think, four hours now and it's not I mean it hasn't even hardly put a dent in it the sides are 24 inches and running along the whole entire boat you get the t-rail gunnel system which allows you to put duck blinds or attachments and it can slide along the whole length of the boat the handle is in this t-rail gunnel and you can adjust it up or down or take it out if you'd like another thing we added on is the rear deck gun box it's nice as a seat but also doubles as storage for your guns or any other items you want to keep dry. This is 100% dry storage and it flips up. It's a nice place to keep your guns, you know they're going to be dry and off the floor where nobody's stepping on them. It's also lockable guys which is nice if you're traveling. You throw a lock on there and if something in here is valuable you don't want getting stolen, you can throw a lock on that. On the side of the gun box we have our disconnect switch for the battery which is nice that way you're not draining your battery all the time when you're not using it. Uh, you just gotta remember to turn it off when you get off the water guys. Also have some more uh, storage underneath the rear seat here. Um, there's plenty of room in the deck of the boat but it is nice to have some things uh, tucked out of the way. Uh, we're not stepping on them. Um, everything's wired in already guys. Um, overall it's really clean. 
there's not a ton of wires running everywhere. We have a control that's wired in to the back here, and it's actually uh, Bluetooth, which is pretty handy. Um, you have several options on this uh, system. You power it on first, and you have your, your navigational lights, uh, your front lights, your bilge pump, and then there's also, also four accessories uh, where you could wire things in like chargers uh, for your devices and things of that nature. So here's our uh, rear nav light. It is pretty nice where you can fold this down and out of the way, guys, if you're going through some low, low stuff. It's pretty much brake proof. You can hit it. It's not going to break or anything like that. And if you want it out of the way, you can fold it down and you don't even notice that it's there. And now, getting to the meat and potatoes of the whole operation. We got a 40 horse, as Titus mentioned already. It's a Briggs and Stratton Vanguard, uh, fuel injected. This thing runs amazing. It's so smooth, um, got plenty of power. So me and Titus had our phones out with uh, a speedometer and we were going, with me and him, just us, no gear or anything like that, we're going 30 miles an hour, which is great. That, I mean, that's, so, that's plenty fast for what we're doing. I'll just walk, start you at the front, you guys. The handle, you can flip up and down if you wanna keep it out of the way or you need to get into the, the rear box here. Starting at the front, you got your tilt functions here. Up and down. You got your gas here. And then you got your forward, neutral, and reverse. We do have reverse on this. You got your kill switch here. And your keys here. It also has a tachometer and hour meter on the motor, which is really nice. We're at 2.9 hours right now. And when you got the uh, engine running, you can see uh, what your RPM is. We got the drop deck transom on this too. That's gonna make it real nice to get in and out of the boat. And it'll be nice for Rocky too, getting in and out. Um, there might be times where he could hunt out of here or he could hunt in the front also, but it's nice for him to get in and out of the boat. So it should be faster retrieval system for him getting birds and getting back in the boat so we could stay hunting. Another thing that's nice is this kind of provides a break for when you're reversing, the water doesn't come up and over um, the back of the boat. And also when you let off the fuel, you know, the tendency is for water to come rushing in and it kind of provides a little break so you're not getting extra water in your boat. Built into the drop deck, we got access for the plug in the back of the boat. Lastly, we got our trailer, guys. It's an 18 foot adjustable galvanized trailer that's made by McLean. And I'm sick of talking about it. I wanna go get this thing out in the water, get some cool shots, drive it around and have some fun. So let's go.